What's going on? It's Mad Mobile King Clutch here today, guys. We are back in the NBA Live Mobile, guys. The All-Star stuff is today. It's coming out today. Well, I mean, it's been out for a while, but the um, dunk contest, three-point contest, and all that kind of stuff, it is today, Saturday. But we're going to be open, um, opening up some of the elite player packs and stuff. One of my friends at school, he's like, oh, you need to open this pack, and I'm like, okay. So I'll tell you guys um, some tips. I'm sure you guys already probably have somewhat of an idea of what you want to do, but you'll obviously want to play all of the live events. And um, make sure, because then that will give you your fan total to get these, um, like, these money balls, not these, these tokens. So you're going to want to eventually try to get up to the gold. You really don't need the last one, but try to get as many as you possibly can, because the tokens will become extremely helpful. So um, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to consistently do this ballot set, because this just gives you more fans. Because the more fans you get, then you get those tokens, and then you're able to um, get these uh, tokens here, which allow you to do these sets for each, and it's pretty much cheap. So like for this one here, you, I don't think I don't have any silver trophies on me right now. But you trade in one random gold, and then you get these tokens back, which is nice. And then you do get a random gold, and then you um, you need three random golds to get an 80 overall or better. And then uh, there's a token exchange here with the bronze, like I just said. But that, then down here lower, there's a silver one. But um, when you can trade them in for the uh, or 80 pluses, then you can easily you know get these 80 pluses out of these packs. Now these golden money balls, you're gonna I'm just gonna use those for those placeholders because I got them for free. But you're gonna be like, oh, how'd you get those? If you play the live events, you will eventually get money balls like from well, the one with the three down here in like the New Orleans area. Um, the, after the last one you play, you do get a golden money ball, which um, uh, and then I got I think I either got one or two. I don't know exactly what the other one was from though. But to get these golden money balls, you need the gold. Uh, and then you need three 80 plus golds. So when you're from when you get your 80 plus golds, then you can just uh, when you get your 80 plus golds from trading in three random golds, you can um, then do this golden money ball set, which can take a place of any of the players here to give you an, e an easier chance of getting an elite. You don't need to buy these players because these other ones go for more expensive. And the other ones I was lucky enough to pull something that worked out perfectly for the time frame and everything like that. And then for the um, gold one, it's just like you trade in two uh, random elites and then the elite badge and then you get an elite money ball which can be used in place of anyone in this set here. So let's say you didn't have the Westbrook, you could put the, West the money ball in for the Westbrook to guarantee they could do the 92 set um, with the golden uh, <clears throat> little badge thing so you need the badges though to get the players I mean the only reason you would need, you need the master token is for this but you can just exchange um, five um, badges oh no that you can't actually so then what do you get out of this so then you get um, a legend money ball that can be used in place of any legend collectible in any legend set so I'm assuming you can put that in any legend set I don't know I'm not gonna do it probably because I don't have that legend badge but you don't need the legend badge the only one you do need is the elite badge because you'll, in case you want to guarantee 92s, but you really, you could do it with the golds, but it'd be a harder chance to pull the players, is what I'm saying. So, um, guys, make sure you get your fan count up, but we're gonna, we're gonna claim, um, this elite player pack here. I have absolutely no idea who you can pull, but, um, it's, I like how they added that in, so you actually have to play the game, how you can't really just, um, buy your players, you know what I'm saying, like, buy your, uh, uh, ways to the collections. I mean, you actually have to play the game a little bit. And I'm going to open these two um, uh, fan favorite packs. I just had them, the collectibles, and once you get 10, you get an elite, and the elites uh, do look pretty sick. So you really, they just give you like a fan boost. If you guys don't know, they released all the League versus League promos, and this is just part of it. So those two cards, I really don't care about. But hopefully we can get something. These are just the All-Star Reserve packs. I really have no idea who you can pull. I'd like to pull someone at a position I don't already have. But, um, okay, let's see. So we're going to get our collectible back. Okay, I'm going to cover this up. And, uh, so you're off. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. Okay, there's our collectible on the right-hand side. And let's just peek over the corner. Okay, we jump wall, yes, okay. Are you kidding me? He's a Shaw. Why? I would have really liked to use that John Wall, but it's at the um, Curry position, his uh, award winner position, so I might use him. But I might try to complete some more sets. But anyways, guys, it's been Mad Mobile King Clutch here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this All-Star Pack opening. Hopefully, you guys are extremely hyped for All-Star Weekend as I am. But anyways, it's, hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Anyways, guys, it's been Mad Mobile King Clutch here. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out, guys. Thanks.